Hello everybody, today's episode will be about uh, DirectX 12. We've seen some good demos and we know quite a lot at this point about it already. So I think it's time to talk about what we should expect and what can go wrong and what can just be left as theory and will not be implemented in practice. So let's begin with the multi-GPU uh, <clears throat> performance. So basically what uh, DirectX 12 allows us to do is uh, implement multi-GPU uh, performance increase, which means that it, <clears throat> it can now split workloads onto, uh, s between the primary GPU and secondary GPU uh, which means that you can use two graphics cards to do different tasks and get better performance um, and also one graphics card and CPUs integrated graphics as well because a lot of CPUs have integrated graphics nowadays so that can be used as well but it's not down to the to us users to you know get this thing running it must be done on the software level, which means that uh, if there is a game developed in DirectX 12, the game developer must implement this option. If they don't do it, it will be just uh, as usual, you know, as we get it now, the same performance. As you can see, there's about 10% 10, 10 in performance increase between using just one single GPU and uh, multi-adapter which mean in this case it's uh, uh, GPU and integrated graphics so some some game developers may just never use it or maybe everyone will use it we don't know at this point and basically this is this is uh, a bit scary because the uh, because it will cost time and money to implement this and not a lot of game developers will actually go for it. Next thing is uh, CPU increased performance. DX11 versus DX12. As you can see from the slides here, uh, basically we get more uh, performance per watt. And here figure eight, uh, number 70 figure eight, so 70% increase. Uh, again, it's down to if if we will see it implemented in uh, real games, it will be down to uh, optimization as well. So this this is only a demo. You don't have to take it uh, as truth for everything because as it is now, uh, different games are uh, optimized differently. Some run better, some run worse, uh, some get patched. So don't think that we're going to get massive boost increase in performance in all future games right away. Don't just assume that. But it's quite impressive. 70% increase is quite impressive, I must say. So there is a lot of potential, as we've seen with the multi-GPU and the CPU in performance increase. We should, and that brings me to the next thing, uh, better graphics. And uh, basically what's happened, Square Enix has shown off their <clears throat> demonstration of the new Final Fantasy. Uh, they're using new Final Fantasy to demonstrate this. If you haven't seen this video, you definitely will be interested in seeing what kind of beautiful graphics are possible uh, with, uh, with the Direct DirectX 12. Because as I can see now, DirectX 11 was holding us back from, you know, from the possibilities of getting these beautiful graphics. But this is not to be expected anytime soon, as I think. I personally don't think that we're going to see these kind of beautiful graphics anytime soon. And the video itself is more impressive than this screenshots, but I was just saying that this is an 8K by 8K textures which basically means that you need a lot of horsepower to 
render all of this and even DirectX 12 with all the increased performance can't handle this thing um, you basically need a monster PC to run it but I'll leave the link in the description below if you want to check out this video um, as you can see here it is quite beautiful and you know it's just when I'm gonna show her face I'll show I'll show you this bit look at this this is just amazing but they're running it on four GPUs in SLI and as you can see they've got manual here and basically they're proving that it's all real-time rendering so it's not a video it is real-time rendering they are zooming it, uh, zooming it in, zooming it out. Go ahead and check it out. It is very impressive. So uh, I don't think we'll be expecting, as I said, I don't think we'll be expecting this kind of beautiful graphics anytime soon. But uh, saying about this, you know, all this performance increase and uh, beautiful graphics, don't expect your GPUs that you have now, your graphics card that you have now, to run everything on ultra with maximum settings next year or the year after why is that because we know that you know manufacturers and game developers not stupid they work together to improve things step by step they don't take massive leaps they make steps and that shows with the speech uh, of NVIDIA's um, chief executive who says that Windows, t uh, Windows 10, 4K and particularly, particularly DirectX 12 will drive sales of new GPUs which means that if you want to max everything out you will still need to buy their flagship uh, graphics cards you can't just expect your GTX 970 to run everything better with uh, all these uh, increased performance capabilities. So, just giving you a heads up to anyone who's been like, oh yeah, it's going to be great, all this performance increase. <laughs> no, it's not going to be like that. You will still have to pay up um, to see all that beauty if you if you will want to. So there you go. That is my analysis of what's going on. Um, I think that the game and the hardware industry will not change. It will take uh, small steps at the time, increasing performance of GPUs uh, year by year. In 2016, we should see Pascal and uh, new AMD 400 series graphics cards, and it should be awesome, basically. If you haven't heard my opinion on it earlier, <coughs> excuse me, I think that 2016, from everything I've read, from everything I've seen so far, 2016 is going to be a very promising year uh, in terms of new graphics cards and uh, DirectX 12 will bring us games with more beautiful graphics as we've seen from this um, from this demo by Square Enix it's going to be awesome but to stay on top you know PC Master Race is still on so you will have to spend another few thousands uh, if you want to upgrade to all that good stuff but um, I guess we'll just uh, have to wait and see let me know in the comments below, what do you think? Am I right? Am I wrong? What do you expect from DX DX12? Are you going to upgrade to the new Pascal architectures and 400 series when they come out? Or are you going to stick with your current GPUs? At this point, I don't know. I probably will. But until next time, RG out.